Ghana Independent Bondholders Forum, IBF, on Wednesday became the third group to register their displeasure with the terms of the debt exchange program, describing it as a total disregard for the contractual rights of individual bondholders by government. The opposition to the program with the January 16 deadline, all but four days away, means that government may not receive a bond approval from the IMF after a staff level agreement was reached earlier for a $3 billion extended credit facility. And the ramifications, according to uh, Joe Jackson, could be dire. Now, it looks as though uh, after the labor unions pushed for pension funds to be exempted, government turned its attention to individual bondholders. And even on the back of that, uh, a number of these bondholders and uh, groupings uh, of which they are a part of are asking government not to touch their uh, bonds or their, their, you know, as individual bondholders, they don't want to be included in the debt exchange program. But what does this even mean for the bigger agenda of government wanting to fix that before they can get uh, some um, funding or assistance from the IMF?